So we're going to start um, on the beach level rather than the casino this time. Uh, the main Mandalay Beach and Delano Be uh, Beach Club are closed, but this one, which actually I don't remember from last time, is open uh, from 9 till 5 p.m. So we're going to check this out. So this uh, Maria Beach Club, I definitely didn't uh, come here with Suzanne in 2018. I don't know how I missed it actually. But it's uh, very good that uh, Mandalay Bay have an all year option or year round option. So you've got a small pool there. As you can see, there's hardly anyone here, but actually as I just walked out, the sun came out, so. <laughs> and then over here you have a sort of, well, it's not really a hot tub. It's <laughs> bigger than that, but you know what I mean. So yeah, it's good that you've got that, and then you have a bar, which is open, at the top there. Now for me, the Mandalay Bay uh, beach set up in the summer is the best in Vegas. Um, obviously I can't show you it now, as it's closed, but um, in my August 2018 series, I did a full walk around of the Mandalay Beach. So I promised you a tour of the Mandalay Beach. We did the Delano Beach Club yesterday. Um, and although I've stayed at, stayed at Mandalay Bay before a couple of times, once in the summer in the early noughties, um, I think it was 2002 from memory, um, I've forgotten just how absolutely fantastic this uh, pool setup is. Um, the lounges that are sort of a brownie colour are all free, but if you want the sort of prime spots, the red chairs on the front two rows here are 50 bucks each, and if you want um, an umbrella as well, that's 50 bucks for the day too. So I've already I've made an executive decision, <laughs> and uh, for our last day here, we are going to book one of the. Uh, red loungers. Obviously it's on sand, clearly, as it's a beach, but this really does remind me of being in a beach on a beach holiday. It's absolutely fantastic. And it does, I mean it's bigger than I remember it from when I was here before, so I don't know, I mean we are going back 15 years, but absolutely fantastic. Such fun. Now this is where, um, that stage there is where they do the beach, beach concerts here. They have quite a few of them during the summer. Uh, a bit like when uh, Suzanne and I went to see Psychic TV at the festival at the Hard Rock last summer. And here comes uh, the waves. <laughs> Absolutely great. I think it's the child in me really. But I tell you what, you know, you, you slave away at work. Um, in a rainy, miserable England or UK. I tell you what, next time I'm uh, pissed off on a Monday morning, I'm just gonna play this part of the video back because you know what, this is why I work. This is why I go through the, excuse my friends, shit I do at work, uh, is to come to somewhere like this and be able to afford to gamble and fork out, you know, a couple of hundred quid for the chairs and whatever and spend two weeks in well just heaven for me really is absolutely wonderful Right, let's uh, head back into the casino. I'm going to show you the casino and then I'm going to show you the room I'm in this time uh, because I've done Delano and uh, Mandalay Bay now. So we'll take it from the uh, tram stations uh, area of the casino. Obviously the tram comes from uh, Luxor and Excalibur and do a loop of the casino space. 
So one of the restaurants I always tend to eat in uh, is House of Blues, which is uh, around here. Uh, I always like it. It's uh, sort of burgers and salads and that type of thing. But I've never had a bad meal in there. And I say it every, every trip, but if you get the tickets for tonight, uh, diner's discount card, you get 20% off in there. Um, and I can't remember the cost of it, but it's like 10 bucks or something for a whole week of savings. Um, and there's a whole list of uh, eateries on their website. That's tickets for tonight. Now this casino, um, whilst it's quite vast, I always think it's got a good vibe. Um, I just think it looks ultra cool with the lights and everything. It's modern, yet it's got a sort of classic feel to it, I think. And we'll uh, head round to Delano, just so you know where that is in relation to um, Mandalay Bay. I'll show you my Mandalay Bay room shortly, but above is a link to my Delano room as we walk through there. And actually, while we're just um, going past uh, the actual uh, concert venue, House of Blues, I saw ABC there in the early 2000s. That was an excellent concert. I've seen ABC loads of times, but uh, to see them in Vegas was something special. So in terms of uh, Delano and uh, Mandalay Bay rooms, which one would I choose having now stayed at both? You'll, I say, you'll see the Mandalay Bay one in a, in a second, but the Delano rooms are bigger um, and they are suites. So I, I'd probably stay there, I think, but there's not really much in it. The Mandalay Bay room I've got has got a fantastic view, um, which you'll see. Um, but the, the Delano, purely because it's a, a one bedroom suite with two rooms, obviously, um, I would I would certainly pick that if you've got the choice. And the, and the comps tend to be exactly the same for both. Uh, this is the Michael Jackson one, one show, which I saw with Suzanne in 2018. I enjoyed it, I didn't, it didn't wow me completely, but it was, uh, it was very good, as all of them are. Um, for me, it just lacked a, a bit of the sort of gymnastics element. Um, there was less of that, it was more just sort of dancing and stuff, but... Uh, So this is, you're literally now walking into Delano here. Um, there's not really that much to it. There's sort of a, there's Della's kitchen, which I've not tried. Um, there's one shop, check-in area and a bar, and then the lifts that go up to all the floors. And I'll just show you the bar quickly before we move on. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's just through here. And this, this is literally, this is literally it. So you, you check in down there, uh, the bar is here, and then the lifts are behind those curtains, just in the corner where that gentleman's going. And then you can uh, get your Uber and what have you from that door. Okay, I'll, I'll walk back the way we came and I will meet you um, at the entrance to Delano. Okay, so we're back at the uh, entrance. I'm just walking back through the casino here. Now in terms of uh, uh, luck in this casino over the years, this is um, one property where I've hit, but the one and only time I've hit a thousand coins on top dollar. <laughs> and that was in 2007, I remember it very, very well. That, that trip was amazing, because uh, it was one of those trips where I couldn't stop winning. Sadly, unlike this trip, <laughs> which has been fairly uh, polar opposite. <laughs> um, all the table games obviously here, not a lot going on right now. It's about uh, half 11 in the morning. But other than that, it's been fair to middling, I would say, in terms of uh, wins and losses over the years. When Colin and I came in, uh, a couple of years back we enjoyed it in here but we didn't win <laughs> as you might remember
Now, I've always liked the uh, the centre bar, um, which is called Eye Candy. I'll quickly show you that. It's quite a good meeting spot and what have you. And we're going to walk now around to some of the restaurant areas, um, and then uh, there's also the Shark Reef attraction. It really is a um, a big place. You you uh, it takes you a while to get anywhere. Just me doing the uh, the the beach area and then walking up here. It, it just everything takes time. Now the places I've eaten around here. When Suzanne and I were here last uh, year, we ate in, in Citizens. This place in front of me quite a lot. It's open pretty late. Fairly simple food, but um, we used to have salads in here. And actually, they've got the Moscone Cup um, on at the moment, which I was planning to go and see, but I've just run out of time what with uh, all of the group pools and Lord knows what else going on. So, yeah, I'd recommend Citizens, decent place. Uh, that's Citizens as well, next door there which is normally open, probably just in the evenings, I would imagine. Oh, no, the door is open. It is open, yeah. Now, in terms of Shark Reef, um, I've done that twice. Actually, I was here on the, the day it opened, believe it or not. It's a lot smaller than you might think. Uh, and uh, from memory, it's about 35 bucks to get in. It's more for kids, really. But there were some interesting things. You, know, you sort of, again, in my 2018 series, I've... Uh, I showed it anyway um, and you sort of walk through a bridge of where you've got the sharks and the water all around you I'd probably say give it a go I, I mean if you can certainly get it comped I'd do it whether I'd pay 35 bucks to do it again I'm not quite sure it's probably not worth that so here really yeah you, you've got the shark reef um, literally straight ahead of you and there's a whole load of uh, convention space here, really, and that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the Moscone Cup is down those stairs. And actually, this is where, when I used to come here for the, uh, the Las Vegas Desert Classic Darts, when that was uh, here each July, that was also down there, so it's, they obviously use the same space. And that was uh, when I met uh, Eric Bristow, my claim to fame, really. <laughs> Rest in peace, Eric. He was a nice man. Straight down to earth. No messing around. Just what I like. Here we are at the uh, Bayside Buffet, which is just in from uh, the Shark Reef area, which is through there. So we're just going to walk to the casino, the rest of the casino, round towards the 
elevators to take you up to the room and show you that. Uh, but I guess I can't really do uh, a walkthrough of Mandalay Bay without addressing the awful events of 2017 with the shooting. Uh, funny enough, when um, Suzanne and I stayed at Delano in 2018, uh, because it was a sort of a, a, di a separate hotel, I didn't really think about it a great deal, but checking in here, uh, and I'm on the 29th floor, um, now obviously it was the 32nd floor that everything happened in, and I'm literally gazing at those windows. Uh, so when I actually uh, looked out of the room for the first time, it did make me feel a bit uneasy, and uh, with all of these tragic events, same with 9-11, I, I, I do always struggle to understand how, how the world just continues to move on. You know, they, they patch the, the window up, put a new window in as if nothing's happened, and we all carry on as normal, you know. And I, I don't know, I always struggle with that, and uh, so it definitely affected me when I, uh, when I checked in. I guess it's just something you've got to get used to, but um, it, things like that should never, ever, ever be forgotten. I really feel uh, passionately about that. You know, I always, I always uh, respect 9/11 every year, and uh, yeah, the same with this. Really, uh, particularly as I feel a bit like someone who is almost, you know, I, you know, I come here so often; it's been such a big part of my life. It's, um, yeah, it's almost a personal event, really, in a way. So yeah, they've uh, they've actually renumbered these floors. Um, 56 to 62 uh, so 31 to 34 no longer exist um, anyway we're going to go up to um, level 29 which is my room this is a walkthrough of room 29213 uh, Mandalay Bay um, this is a resort king strip view um, now the last time I stayed at Mandalay Bay uh, would have been 2007 um, not stayed here since then um, but this room yeah it's it looks fairly recently renovated I'm not familiar with how recent all of these rooms were redone but it certainly looks that way so it's just a, you know it's just a regular king but a pretty spacious one at that uh, so the first cupboard you've got your safe plus iron and ironing board a lot of hanging space And moving into the bathroom here. Quite like the decor. And then you've got a tub and a shower. Uh, your toilet's in here. And then you have his and hers sinks. It's all very smart. Now you do get privacy in the bathroom. Uh, these, it's not just an open, open door. These two doors obviously close it. You got uh, so you have separate hanging spaces if you're a couple. And again, quite a lot of it. So it's sort of a it's sort of a roomy roomy room. <laughs> and moving over here, now these items clearly are all chargeable, uh, so I wouldn't go there. Same as the, yeah, same as this. Normally thirty seconds and you're charged. A bit more uh, storage space. Nothing in there. Standard sort of TV, 42 inch or something. Work area, two chairs. The bed looks very, very comfy. I, I do like the uh, design behind it, actually. I've yet to sleep on it, but it does look great. But really, the uh, one of the main draws of this room clearly is the view, which actually I wasn't expecting much in terms of a, a view from uh, Mandalay Bay, but I'm not sure why. I, I just wasn't. I had it in my head. It would be sort of a, a partial strip view, but yeah, that's as good as you're going to get, really, isn't it? It's 
from this sort of end of the uh, end of the strip anyway it's lovely really nice it's gonna look great in the evening so I'll do a, a few photos and videos of the the view at night over the coming days now, I've got this um, on an M Life comp I'm gold M Life uh, three free nights I could have had four but I'm going home after three $100 resort credit and 75 free play I think no resort fees so yeah I'm pleased with this, very, very pleased with it. Speak to you soon. Take care.